Well, MotoFam, as you can see, the rear swing arm is still off the bike. We are waiting on some Cerakote to show up, so I made an impulse buy. So what did I buy? Basically the throttle housing that mounts to the bar. And I'll show you what it looks like up close in a minute. But what's interesting about it is it's pretty bulky. And the reason why is because they say that this is a stronger unit than the one that comes stock. So if you go down the bulkiness and kind of weight to it should stop this from breaking in any way. Now to be completely fair, I've gone down on this bike a couple times and that throttle housing has never had an issue, but it's black, my bars are black, and if you guys haven't figured it out yet, the theme of this bike is more of a black and orange, so I thought that this would fit a little bit better. Let's put it on there. This is stock and this is the nice CNC version of that housing. Now, as you can see, the top here is obviously way broader than the stock one is. When you look at it side to side, you can definitely tell that there is a difference. So installation of this thing should be super simple. Really all I need to start it is an eight millimeter on a ratchet or you can use a T-wrench. Okay, so we're gonna start by removing these two bolts. They're eight millimeters like I said. Next step, what you're gonna do is remove this rubber bolt from the actual throttle cables. Next up, you're gonna remove this actual housing by splitting it in half. Literally, it was that easy. Now for the nice CNC. These initially will come with two Allen wrench style bolts. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use these. I might actually go with what KTM already gives us, but I'll take these out first and show you guys. Really nice finish on the inside and on the outside of this thing. Okay, so since we didn't have to remove at any point any part of the actual throttle cables, we're literally just gonna sandwich them back into this housing. You're gonna wanna make sure that each portion of that downspout for your throttle cable is lined up perfectly on each side. So when they do come together, it snaps in like that. All right, as you guys can see, I'm already sweating. We've only been in MotoFam Studios for about 10 minutes, but it's hot in here. Let's keep going. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna line up everything back where I had it. And again, I'm just gonna use the stock bolt here on both sides. The reason why I'm using the stock KTM bolt is because I'd rather be able to use a star wrench or have the option to use an eight millimeter T wrench rather than an Allen all the time. Pro tip real quick, make sure that when you're putting something like this together where you have two tension points from two different bolts, that you don't crank down one really tight and then go and crank down the other one. What ends up happening is by tightening the bottom half and then the second half, you don't get a solid pinch on your bar. So by doing them both at the same time or doing a little bit at each time, you get more of a solid straight up and down pinch on the bar and that's technically what's holding this thing on is the tension between the bar and the pinch that this is creating. One thing to know is to make sure that you don't shift your throttle tube all the way down onto the bar. The reason why is that can create friction between the bar and the tip of the tube, meaning that when you pull this thing open, there's a chance it stays open. So make sure there's a gap in between the bar and the tube, and it'll always go right back. Quick test, nice and smooth. 
As you can see, it looks really nice on the bar in comparison to the silver one that comes in stock, especially now that the whole entire bar is basically black. Overall, I like the look of it. I think it adds some flair to the front of the bike. It's nice and clean, and hopefully it actually does protect the throttle cables just that much better. As you guys can see, I am drenched in sweat. I am ready to go inside, but I think this thing looks rad. I honestly think for the price, it's kind of hard to beat. It just looks too good not to buy. It does come in multiple colors, which you guys can see here. If you guys want to see our first video in regards to the swing arm, click up here and we'll see you guys on the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace guys.